Hey, Faith World. Thank you so much for tuning in to The Voice of Faith. As you hear this message, we want to build up your faith and build up your hope in the Word of God. Check out this message from Pastor Martin. Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Martin Hernandez again here at The Voice of Faith broadcast. So, so exciting to be here with you and to give you a word which I believe is going to change your world in Jesus' name. You know, we've been talking about the God of Gideon and how Gideon was hiding away from the Midianites. But not only was he hiding, he was complaining about his nation. He was complaining about how this world was just not the way it used to be, not the way his fathers and forefathers told him how God intervened in Egypt, how God intervened in the wilderness. And now here he is hiding away from the enemy again, but he is saying, where is this God that my fathers talked about? And the Lord appeared to Gideon and told Gideon, you will save this nation. And Gideon turned the response back to God and said, how can I? You know, I'm poor, I'm the run of the litter, I'm, I'm not qualified, I'm not fit for the job. And the Lord said, go in this might, I will be with you and you will be a sign for this nation. And I really believe in today and the way the world is right now, God is raising up a new breed for a new need. And it's the same need, it's sin. People are in sin. But as a church, we're called to reach this loss with no limitations, with no excuse. Why? Because the Lord is with us and the Lord has given us his might to reach this lost at any cost. And then we talked a little bit about, you know, the gospel, how Jesus commissioned the church to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. And that through that gospel, signs will follow them when they believe. And that as they went forth, the Lord was working with them, performing miracles and confirming which what the, what the disciples were speaking and proclaiming, the Lord confirmed it with signs that followed. And that still affect today. Jesus Christ is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same Jesus who healed 2,000 years ago is still in the healing business. The same Jesus that multiplied five loaves and two fish is still the same Jesus today, multiplying and doing exceeding abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. But he cannot do what he wants to do. In fact, I'll say it this way. He can't show off without you. And God is craving to show off his power, his ability, his might to this lost and dying world. He wants to show the world, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. I want to take that heavy burden away from your shoulders. He wants to do it but he can't do it without the vessels of the Holy One. And that vessels, those vessels are you and I as we rise up and we do the work that God's called us to do. Then we talked a little bit in the book of Acts how Jesus, a man, though he was 100% God, he was 100% man. And the scriptures show in Acts chapter 2, verse 22, that Jesus was just a man, but he was approved of God through miracles, signs, and wonders that God did among him here on this earth. So every miracle that you see throughout the four gospels in the new covenant, in the New Testament book, it can only be done by God. Even Nicodemus, someone who was really, really wise and, and really knew the, the law from cover to cover, he even knew the works that you do, you could not do unless God be with you. And I'm here to tell you today under this new covenant that's established upon better promises, God, the same God that was with Gideon, the same God that was with Jesus, the same God that was with Paul when he silenced the debaters, he is with you today. Whether you're in California, whether you're in Florida, whether you're in the great state of Maine, or you're out out of this nation, you're in another world, another nation. You're just, you're just, you just 
happen to just fall into this channel here at The Voice of Faith, I'm here to tell you, God is with you. And God's not moved by who's running this nation. God's not moved by the economical status of this nation. God is only moved by faith when you mix your faith to know, God, you're with me. You were with Gideon. You were with Jesus. You were with Paul. And you are with me to do the great work. I want to just edify you um, at this time, if you go with me to go to 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 6 and 7, I want to add the cherry on top when it comes to this series about the God of Gideon. Because I really, really believe throughout the years, I really believe what holds us back from reaching the lost is quite simple. We're afraid. Yes, at times we tend to feel intimidated to reach someone. Let's say you're going to the grocery store and you're just getting your, your normal grocery list and you're just doing your routine. And all of a sudden, someone comes across your path and the Holy Ghost is speaking to you to step out and to share Jesus. Oh, I can't, you know, it's not the right time. You know, I gotta go to work or I gotta do something. Oh, I can't because, you know, I haven't read my Bible or oh, I can't because what if they reject me? You know, some people, they think the worst thing, you know, for believers, we think the worst thing sometimes. Oh, what if they cuss me out or what if they, they make a big scene in here at the grocery store? I don't wanna deal with that. My friend, that stuff, God, is so perfect in, in, in making a masterpiece out of that, but he's wanting for you to step out so that he can move through you and do the great exploits. In fact, I know, I know I told you to go to 1 Samuel chapter 10, but in fact, in Daniel chapter 11, verse 32, the Bible says, and such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But look at the last part. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Do you know, because you know God and you know that you're called to go out and reach the lost with the gospel, God will work with you and God will make you strong and you will do great exploits. Not within a church service. No, you can do great exploits in the name of Jesus in the streets in the highways, the byways, in every town, every city, in every village, from the White House to the outhouse, God has called you to do great exploits because you know your God. And if you know your God, you're not alone because he's with you and he's for you. But going back to 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 6 and 7, the Bible says, And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, and you will prophesy with them, and you will be turned into another man. You know, when you step out of the boat, look at Peter's instance. When he stepped out of the boat, when Jesus told him to come, he started to walk on water. Naturally speaking, it's impossible to walk on water. But when you hearken to the word of the Lord, especially Jesus, the head of the church, who's called you right now to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel, Guess what? You will be turned into another person. You won't be your ordinary, your, your ordinary self. You will be another person. When I go and preach the gospel, it's no longer Martin Hernandez preaching the gospel. I am turned into another man because now God is working through me. God is speaking through me. God uses these hands, uses these feet of mine to go and reach the loss. You become another person. You become another individual. And the Bible says continually, uh, continuing in verse seven, and let it be when these signs are come unto thee. Look at that. Signs should come unto thee when you proclaim the gospel. It's second nature. It just flows that way. You preach the gospel, signs follow. You preach the gospel, signs follow. We should have great confidence to know when I preach the good news of this gospel, I know God will confirm what I just preached with signs following. 
And the Bible says, And let it be when these signs are come unto thee, that thou do as occasion serve thee, for God is with thee. You know, there's a sign for the occasion. The occasion may be at Walmart or the grocery store, the gas station, the streets, your workplace, the dinner table, your family gathering, your family reunion. The occasion may be right there, but there's a sign ready for that occasion. But God needs you to step out. And when you step out, there will be boldness that will rise up from within. The Bible says you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. The Bible says the Holy Ghost will teach you what to say in front of kings and magistrates. And if he can teach you what to say before kings and magistrates, he can most certainly teach you what to say among the people on the streets, at the workplace, with your family, with your friends, with your loved ones. He will give you the right people at the right place at the right time. And that's why it's so important in these last days that as believers contend for the miracles and the signs and the wonders. They have not ceased, my friend. They have not gone away. They have not disappeared. They are still active within the church, but the church must mix their faith through the word of God and say, if God did it then, God can do it now and God can do it tomorrow. God can do it next year. God can do it every single time because God, like I said, is craving. He's yearning to show himself off to this lost and dying world because he knows as much as we should know that people will come in the floods to receive Jesus when there's a miracle and there's a sign and there's a wonder. I'm telling you, this is the nature of the body of Christ. To go ye into all the world, teaching, preaching, and demonstrating that Jesus is Lord. And those great exploits will be done through the hands and the feet of his body, the church of Jesus Christ the blood-bought, redeemed church. What a privilege we are living today here in this time and in this very hour. No other general of faith of the past can live the life that you're living today. They cannot do what, you're, what you are called to do. God has called us as believers to go ye into all the world, to go forth and preach this gospel. No more hiding days. No more days of hiding away from the Midianites. It's time to rise up like Gideon with the power of God's might and bring in the loss and save this nation. The nation can be where you're at. The nation can be the United States of America. The nation may be all the other nine continents of the world. Wherever the Lord's called you to go, wherever the Lord's called you to be, know this. That nation must be saved, and that nation will be saved through your hands, through your feet, but you're not alone because the Lord is with you and He is for you. I really believe this entire series in the Voice of Faith broadcast, it has stirred a fire from within you that you can do this. God believes you can do it. He trusts His gospel into your hands. So get out of the place of complacency. Get out of the boat of timidity. Get out of that place of, of just being in that funk and rise up and say, I'm the church. I'm called to do the works of, of the Lord. I'm called to do the great and mighty exploits that God has promised His church to do. I'm ready. I'll contend for it. I yearn for it. I put the pressure on God that when I go to, the, when I go to these places, the hospitals and the retirement centers and the streets, I know God is with me and God is for me. And there's no greater force but the force that I have within is called the force of faith. When I mix my faith in these promises, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. I pray this has blessed you. I wanna pray, pray a simple prayer over you, and then we'll close this out. Father, in the name of Jesus, every man, woman, boy, and girl that's hearing this message right now, I thank you, Lord, there is a quickening in their hearts to rise up and be the Gideons of this age, that they will rise up and do great and mighty exploits, greater works than that of old in the life of Gideon, because under this new covenant that's established upon better promises, they can do great and mighty works, because Jesus says that the works that I do, you can do also, and greater works will you do, because I go to the Father. 
Now, Lord, you are with the Father at this time. And I thank you, Lord, that great and mighty exploits are going to be done through the hands and the feet of your body, the church. I thank you, Lord, for a holy boldness upon each hearer that is hearing this broadcast. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Go and turn your world upside down for Jesus. I want to hear a testimony. I want to hear what God's been doing through you. Write to the church. Reach me. Message me and just tell me, Brother Martin, I took what you said literally and I did what the word of the Lord said and things started to shift. It stirs us up when we hear people, not only in faith world, but around the world who are taking the Voice of Faith broadcast and they're doing what God has called them to do, and there's fruit. And that, my friend, is what we're called to do, to bear much fruit. We love you, we call you blessed, and we'll see you here again at the Voice of Faith broadcast. God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Voice of Faith. We believe that God is going to do some amazing things in your life. And before you go, we always wanna give you an opportunity to give so that you can be blessed. The different ways that you can give are on the screen. Also, if you need prayer, we would love to pray with you. Just email, message, or call the church. Thank you so much for watching today and have a blessed week.